John Patrick Shanley is a Pulitzer Prize winning playwright and an Oscar winning screenwriter. He's written more than 23 plays. His riveting Broadway hit, Doubt, won the Pulitzer Prize for Drama, four Tony Awards, including Best Play. Doubt was made into a movie starring Meryl Streep, and his brilliant screenplay earned him an Oscar nomination. He wrote the much-beloved Hollywood hit, Moonstruck, which stars Nicolas Cage and Cher, and won three Academy Awards. John Patrick Shanley is also a theater and film director, a true Renaissance man. I'm so delighted that he's here with us today to chat about his love of Italy. So, John, your connection with Italy, what does Italy mean for you? I'm from the Bronx originally, and I lived there till I was 19, and my father was a meat packer. And my original connection with Italy was through meat. In my house, my father would come home with white butcher paper with blood coming through it, and that was the meat that he brought home uh, from the slaughterhouse for us to have dinner. I only had certain kinds of meat until I went to an Italian-American household for the first time. Uh, and uh, they had uh, a garden in the back and they had a bocce court and they had marinated steaks in olive oil with oregano and garlic and they cooked them at an outdoor fire made with old grapevines. And when I tasted that, I realized there was another world. And that world for me was called Italy. So this love, maybe starting with some of the food, is that what influenced why was Moonstruck based on Italian Americans? One of the houses that I went to uh, was uh, my friend uh, Alfonso Antonio Striano. And his mother, Teresa, uh, I stayed there one, uh, one night. Uh, and uh, when we got ready to go out, we were gonna go out, we we're gonna go to a club or something. And Al was getting ready and he combed his hair very elaborately at his mother's uh, vanity table and then sprayed his hair with a product called Hidden Magic, which was, as far as I knew, for women. I mean, it was, uh, you know, you saw them on television, there was a beautiful woman and she was using Hidden Magic. And uh, uh, then, you know, I spent the night and in the morning his mother served me for breakfast, uh, falling apart uh, uh, meat in a marinara sauce. For breakfast? And for breakfast with a can of Coke. And I'm like, where am I? The, the men are using hidden magic and they're uh, having uh, a meat with red sauce for breakfast with Coca-Cola. And I realized I really like this. And then they would talk very openly about sex while you're having your breakfast. And I was just, it was everything that my, my house was not. It was the other half of my life. When I became a writer, I uh, wrote a sort of uh, love letter to the Italian-American culture in New York and, and called it Moonstruck. And why did you make Ronnie, the uh, Nicolas Cage character, love opera? Well, you know, one of the things I always ask myself when I'm writing a movie is, what am I going to photograph? What do I find beautiful? And I uh, very much find uh, uh, the opera beautiful, both in its physical production and obviously the production of exquisite sound, music, and the human voice, celebration of all that's possible with the human voice. And to put that together with the exoticism that I experienced from these Italian-American households, both in the clothing and in the food and in their attitude about life, uh, it all came together for me as an opera. And uh, it was very easy for me to make the culminating experience that these two people have, this thing that they share, the connection that they have, be the opera, because in a way, Italian-American culture was that for me. I had the wonderful opportunity to go to Italy and to see a play that you wrote performed in Italy. Play, of course, Cellini, about Benvenuto, the 16th century goldsmith and sculptor. What motivated you to write about Cellini? Well, I had run into uh, a Sardinian uh, who worked in New York named Antonio Sardou, uh, and he had come to see a play of mine that I was doing up at Vassar College, and he said, you know, I have a dream of raising money and get a bunch of artists to go to Italy and uh, work there and put on a play there. And I said, you're going to do it? You're going to do it one year from today? 
I am going to write a play about Benvenuto Cellini. I just read his autobiography and I'm on fire to do it. And you will raise the money and we will go. And lo and behold, a year later, uh, after I had read this incredible document, the autobiography, which he dictated to a 14-year-old boy while under house arrest for sodomy in Florence, uh, and it was so in the vernacular, and the vernacular that Cellini spoke was so close to the Italian-American New Yorker uh, that it was no leap at all for me to want to adapt this to feel that I knew these people. So let's talk about uh, Italian-American reconciliation. The first play that I ever directed uh, uh, was a play that I wrote called Italian-American Reconciliation, which I wrote for John Turturro, who I had previously collaborated with on Danny in the Deep Blue Sea. And uh, then I subsequently was going to do my first film with him, which was called Five Corners. Uh, and we had uh, a very strong uh, reciprocal energy that came out of, I think, the fact that I had this love of the Italian-American culture and we just kind of spoke the same language. And subsequently, John did a beautiful film about the music of Naples uh, a few years ago, uh, which, uh, if you haven't seen it, I strongly recommend it. Very beautiful. Grazie mille, John. I appreciate it so much. Thank you so much for being here with us. It was lovely to, for me as well.